Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Maarten and in this video I will show you how to indent uh, cells in Excel. We have three cells here, one with text, one with a number that I typed in, and one with a very simple uh, calculation. Uh, it works, as you can see, Excel uh, treats text and numbers differently. Text gets put into the left side of the cell, numbers, whether they're numbers or formula results, get put into the right side of the cell. Now, if we change the indent, we can use these two buttons, decrease indent and increase indent. Uh, at the start, all three cells have an indent position of zero. Um, but the numbers get put to the right, but this is basically, this is alignment. This is not indent. But if I go and push these buttons, it will change. Not for the text though, if I click indent, it will just move to position one and then move to position two and we can even push it right out of the cell. If we go to format cells and you have you end up here and then you go to alignment, you can see the indent position is 17 now. If we put that back to two, it comes back here and you can move it to three now. Oh, sorry, wrong one cells, alignment, indent is 3. Uh, now if we do the same thing for the number, the same thing happens, but it doesn't move to the right while we indented it, but it moves to the left. This is because it's now, Excel now thinks, okay, you want to move with indent, so apparently you don't want to keep the alignment to the right, so it scraps that. If we go to format cells, you can see now the horizontal is has become the horizontal text alignment has become left in indent, indent one. And we can also say, well, I want this to be three. I can also use this by do this by using these buttons, by the way. And as you can see, it moves here. And exactly the same for the number. Um, but what doesn't work is decreasing the indent. It doesn't move to the left if you click this one. That's because it's not the indent is zero and the indent can be lower than zero. So if you want to move the number to the left side, you have to lose alignment. Or alternatively, if we pick a new cell, you can of course start from the left and then move it where you want to. That's also an option. These two concepts kind of, they, they seem to do the same thing, but Excel treats them differently. So I hope I made that clear in this video. Um, and uh, but should you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below you can also subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and if you want to receive email updates when i post a new video and get tips and tricks on how to use excel in a smarter way in your inbox click on the button in the bottom right corner this will take you to my website worksmarter.tv and you can subscribe to my mailing list there thank you for watching hope to see you next time bye bye